Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijayalakshmi. This is a continuation video of my previous video, uh, Data Science and Data Visualization Question Bank. So I have discussed already four modules in my previous video. This is the fifth module question bank. That is a deep dive into matplotlib. So these are some of the expected questions. Explain the architecture of matplotlib and its integration with other Python libraries like NumPy and Pandas. Discuss the differences between the PyPlot interface and the object-oriented interface in matplotlib. When would you use each one? Provide examples to illustrate your ex explanation. Write a Python script to create and display a figure with two subplots, a line plot and a scatter plot, each with custom titles and access labels. This is a 10 marks question. Using pandas, create a data frame and generate a line plot from it. Describe the steps and methods used to plot data directly from a data frame. Okay, this is a 10 marks question. Describe the process of saving matplotlib figure as an image file in different formats, that is PNG and PDF. Provide an example code snippet. Describe the process of creating and closing figures in matplotlib. Provide an example of how to customize a figure size, DPI, and background color. Data registration, PhD. Explain how to create and customize violin plots in matplotlib. Discuss the benefits of using violin plots over box plots. Provide a code example. Create a bar chart with matplotlib. Add appropriate access labels, a title and legend. Explaining the data series. Include annotations to highlight specific data points. Generate a histogram for a given data set. Explain how to adjust the number of bins and customize the appearance of the plot. Create a scatter plot with labeled data points. Explain how to use different markers, styles, and colors to distinguish between different categories of data. Generate a stacked area chart and a stacked bar chart for multiple category data sets. Explain the differences in their implementation and visualization. Again, this is a 10 marks question, guys. And uh, these are some of the expected questions for module 5. Okay. You can check here just you can have a look at this look at uh, uh, these questions it's a date now in the data and join on your data phd registration data Create a bubble plot with varying bubble sizes and wow. colors based on data attributes. Explain how to scale bubble sizes and map colors to data values. Create a radar chart to compare multiple categories of data. Explain the process of normalizing data, creating the chart and customizing its appearance. So hope you have understood. So these are some of the expected questions. Uh, uh, please don't forget to comment, subscribe and share. Thank you all.